Hey guys, it's Jenny here. Oops, no. He's off. Um, in this video, I am actually going to be doing a September haul. Um, first, after before I do that, um, I want to make a few announcements. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so so much because, um, when I do have internet, I've been looking at my channel, and you guys have gotten me up to. 106 subscribers which I mean may not seem like many to some but honestly I am like over the moon about it and therefore that means that I am getting closer to hosting a giveaway um basically if we get up to 150 to 200 subscribers um if we get up to 150 by sometime in October um I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway um, and if it gets higher, then I'll be doing more than one book for a giveaway. And, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that I see how you are helping my channel out and, um, I want to reward you guys for that. So, yes, if we get up to 150 to 200 subscribers, blah, 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 subscribers, the 150 mark will be one book to give away and then the 200 will be two books to give away. And basically what I'll do is, um... I think I might just pick a book at random from book outlet or something I haven't decided yet I'll I'll keep my eye out for something um, and basically whenever we hit that mark I will um, I'll come up with something I will I just want to let you know that that is in the works so tell your friends uh, if your friend likes books tell them about my channel and have them subscribe and yeah you might just get rewarded for it uh, announcement number two is that I am moving. Yeah, all of my books are in boxes and it's super depressing. Um, so I was originally not going to do this haul, but I decided I wanted to because looking at my bare bookshelves just really, really hurts my heart. Um, so I'm like, I have to do something with books right now. Like, I just need to film some kind of video. So I decided I'm, I am going to do the haul after all. Um... Even though it's a bit redundant, I already filmed the book outlet hauls and literally all that I hauled this month was book outlet books. I figured, like, just compile them all in one video. Um, and then announcement three is I finished it. Guys, I, I did it. I finished it. Oh my god. It was actually really difficult for me. 1,153 1, pages, but I did it. It took me two and a half to three weeks but I did it and honestly I have a really mixed emotions about it I might do a review on it because I just have so many emotions about it I can't even I think I am gonna do a review about it um later though later though and now I'm currently trying to finish Trials of Apollo the Dark Prophecy before the month ends it is currently the 28th so I have about two days to finish that which I should be able to. And since I've been rambling for about three and a half minutes, I am just going to uh, stop making you guys wait and just start with the haul. So I just literally kept most of these books in the boxes and I just wrote on them like September haul books. So that like I know I was gonna film it at the new house, but I'm like, I'm getting restless. I actually forgot what I'll have in here. Because I haven't taken any of them out and put them in a shelf. Like, I just kept them in the box. And I forgot what I had. And I'm so excited. It's like opening the box all over again. Well, like, you know what I mean. Like, brand new again. Okay. These are in no particular order. I'm just going by the, by the ones that I pick up first and stuff. So, the first one that I see here is Bullfinch's Mythology. Stories of Gods and Heroes by Thomas Bullfinch. Um, I got this from Meyer. This was actually pretty pricey, but I am such a mythology buff. I love it. And yeah, once again, I don't think I'm going to have time to do synopsises because I always tend to ramble a lot. Anywho, um, I'll just give you the general subject. Uh, then I hauled The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. This is Egyptian mythology. And I'm pretty sure this is actually middle grade, but I love Rick Riordan so much that I don't even care. 
I love all of his stuff. Alright, and you can't have Red Pyramid without the Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. Yeah, it's the other way around, but... <laughs> um, Egyptian Mythology. I'm really excited about these ones. Then I got the box set of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. However, something that I am a little bit upset about is that it's only the first three. So, the Lightning Thief, Sea Monsters, and the Titan's Curse. Uh, book outlet. This is Greek mythology. And I absolutely adore this series. There's five books, so it's missing two. Um, I've read this about... the series about ten times over. And I plan to do it again when I get the other two. Greek mythology from book outlet. Um, all of the rest of the stuff should be from Book Outlet, unless I say otherwise. There might be some from Barnes & Noble or Amazon. Okay, I'm gonna wait on the hardcovers, actually. Then I'm gonna haul Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy. This is actually an ARC. Um, I got this from Amazon. I don't actually know- are ARCs, like, finished books or are they just samples? I really, really hope it's finished because I'm going to be really upset if it's not. Maybe it's finished. Ramona Blue. I have I have been so excited for this book for so long. So long. Okay, yeah. Um, Amazon. This book is so pretty. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going to haul Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. I got this Barnes and Noble. I actually this was mostly covered by. Um, <laughs> forget half the stuff that I bought. Okay, then I got the Imposter Queen by Sarah Fine. This is from Book Outlet. I hear people walking in the kitchen. And I want them to open the door and be like, who are you talking to? Because <laughs> then I have to edit it out. Okay, then I have The Last Place on Earth by Carol Snow. Um, yeah, I got this from Book Outlet. Okay, then we have Deadly Little Lies by Lori Faria Stol Stolars. This is like book one of I think like seven. They're all pretty short so I might try to get them all off the booklet. I haven't decided yet. Book outlet. I keep saying booklet. Um, it just depends on how I like the first one. Then I got Far From You by Tess Sharp. This was from Book Outlet, I believe. I don't recognize this book. Hmm. Looks interesting. Hard covers for this first box. I got Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. Uh, I believe this is the first one in the Twisted Tale trilogy. Not sure. Uh, I got this from Book Outlet. This is a fairy tale retelling. Then we have The Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle. Uh, book outlet. <laughs> Alright, and Allie's Pretty Little Lies, which is by Sarah Shepard. It's a prequel novel to the Pretty Little Liar series. And I'm actually dying to read. I'm trying to collect the whole series. I already read all of them, except for the novellas. So, ooh, I like the size of this book. Here's Ash and Bramble by Sarah Prinius. This was from Book Outlet. Shocker. Alright. And then we have My Second Life by Faye Bird. Book Outlet. <laughs> um, and I think I'm actually going to put these away so I can open up the second box so I don't have them lying everywhere. I just realized, I just now remembered that I put some of my September haul books in a different box. 
because they wouldn't all fit. Dang it. <laughs> if it's not in this next box, I also got We All, They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. One of my most anticipated reads of the year. And I am so beyond excited to read it. After I get through the ones that I've been planning to read, I'm picking that one up, I swear to God. Like, after I finish the what, like, I don't even know how many. I have like a whole mythology section of this box. Okay. And now this can get packed up to go on its adventure to my new house. Oh man, this box that they sent me is whacked. Okay. And here is the small box. Oh. But I think it might actually have more books in it. If that makes any sense. No, it does not have more books in it, that's for sure. <laughs> Just looks like that for a minute. Oh, we're reading this in English right now. Actually, we only read a chapter, which kind of made me mad. Because, like, I kind of wanted to read the whole thing. And now I can. I think my mom must have put this on my stairs, but I have The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Um, yeah. My English teacher is super impressed because like none of the other like all the other kids read the, read the chapter but they like didn't remember anything from it and I didn't even read well I read the chapter but like they had to read it multiple times I read it once and I was absent the day that we actually did it and I still knew everything she's like how do you know that I'm like I have the book and she's like oh. yeah I'm a hit with the English teachers guys <laughs> um Alright, then I'm going to pick up... No, I'm going to pick up these ones next. Then I have Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This looks like a really easy read. I actually don't know what this is about. But I know that it's a classic. Whenever I hear John Steinbeck, I'm like, instantly know what it is. The Hobbit by J.A.R. Tolkien. This is from Book Outlet. Like he even had to tell ya. There's one book in particular on this box I'm actually super excited for. I have Hans Christian Andersen's Fairy Tales. I just really love the color of these puffin chalk. Puffin classics. Book that one. Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. Outlet. I just really really love the colors. They're like my favorite, or the covers. They're like my favorite thing. Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Book outlet. Like I am literally going to start a collection of all the Puffin classics just because they look so cute on my shelf. Okay. This is one of my most anticipated ones. Um, the first time I saw this book was on Sasha Allsberg's channel at A Book Utopia. Um, she's really into these kind of historical fiction books, and I've been getting into them a, a little bit more lately, and I'm especially excited for this one. I know that she just picked up the second one, um, but this is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, um, and this is from Amazon. I'm so excited for this one. This and the Adam Silvera book are, like, the top of my hit list after I finish the ones that I'm, that I am determined to finish on my TBR right now. Okay. And then we have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. This is Norse mythology, so like Thor and Loki and Odin. Um, I really love the colors, but I really do want to get his books in hardcover. So if I ever do that, I'll just take the paperbacks to my dad's house. Okay, then I have The Serpent's Shadow by Rick Riordan. Um, this is one of the books that goes to the Egyptian mythology books. This is the last one, actually. Alright, and then I have Camp Half-Blood Confidential, Your Real Guide to the Demigod Training Camp. Um, this is just a companion book with, for the Percy Jackson series. Kind of like a novella, kind of. Just a random how-to guide. And then the last three. The Great Hunt by Wendy Higgins. Book outlet. 
almost all of these are from book out except for very a very select few like i'm sorry my eyes are itching right now holy crap okay then i have reawaken by colleen oh, every time i'm just gonna say colleen h because i always slaughter her name book outlet And then, the one we have all been waiting for, which is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I got this from Book Outlet, and this is also one of the ones at the top of my hit list. But it's a little bit further down on my hit list, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that concludes my September haul. Um, I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, my views, which... Okay, so I was once again looking through, you know, the the views and stuff like that, casually. And I saw that you guys literally have my book outlet hauls and stuff through the roof. I am, like, so surprised. So, in honor of that, I'm going to be placing two orders to book outlet just because of how many views you've gotten me up to. Um, I want to just do an appreciation order to them, you know, for blessing us with their website. And so, yeah, um, they sent me two $4 off coupons, one of which is going to expire any day now if it hasn't already. And I just really want to order from there again. And I will be. So expect more book outlet hauls, too. Plus, I need to kick off my October haul somehow. Um, the only other books that I can think of hauling in the month of October is One Dark Throne by Kendari Blake. My mom wouldn't let me go into Barnes and Noble yesterday. We were right in town, but she said, no, you have enough books. And I'm not taking you in to get more. And I was just like, wow, I, do you realize how lucky you are? I could be doing so many other bad things, but here we are, a teenager obsessed with books. What are you going to do with me? So, yeah. She cannot stop me from ordering books with my own card, though. So there's that. So that's what exactly what I will be doing. I am going to be placing two orders. Um, I've actually been surfing all night trying to figure out what I'm going to get. Still haven't decided. I have some things on my list. Um, I'm also going to keep an eye out to see what I might want to get for the giveaway. But, yeah. I'm probably going to make another video to announce something else, but I got to think it over first. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also tell your friends to subscribe to get a chance to enter in the giveaway. Um, and yeah, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below because I really love um, hearing from you guys. It just really boosts my confidence to see you guys enjoying my channel. Thank you for watching.